Good morning, Arizona. Just after 8 o'clock on this Sunday. Hope you're enjoying your morning and uh, getting to do something outdoors maybe today because it's going to be another nice one. Let's get to Brittany real quickly for a quick check of how your forecast is shaping up today. Brittany, almost 80 degrees yesterday, right? Yeah, almost 80 degrees yesterday and then 83 our forecast high today. Take a look at how your day will break down. We are going to see a nice start to your morning temperatures right now. Uh, in between the low 40s, partly sunny conditions and the cloudiness will stick with us for Monday. And then we'll also see cooler conditions by Monday and Tuesday dropping down to the low 70s. So it's still a win-win situation. It's still going to be nice, although there are a few changes on the way. Take a look behind me here. We're at the celebration of fine art. Great place to come down. We're local or an artist from all over the country come out and meet with art lovers. And so you can uh, talk with them and find out how they come up with their masterpieces and maybe even buy something for your home. So this is a really nice event. We're going to see such a nice day so you can admire the beauty outside as well as uh, some of the artists here as well. So a great place to come out to. It's on Scottsdale and Mayo just south of the 101. And we'll be giving away a family four pack on mm. Twitter. So you have to pay attention for the Twitter trivia question. Okay, folks are always paying attention, aren't they? I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it must be Sunday morning. I ask, why do you lay your love on me so strong? It must be Sunday morning, baby. That's why do you lay your love on me so strong? I'm digging the music this morning, whoever is in audio. All right, we are live here at the celebration of fine art. Jennifer Brains, did I say it right? Jennifer Brains, beautiful artwork here. I said, what kind of art is this? And you said it's impressionism with a twist because everything's thicker, there's a pop of color. Just describe your artwork here. You're actively working on a piece behind us and that's the cool thing. If you love art, you can come out and you can watch the artist's work. Yeah, so I paint with lots of texture, as you mentioned. Yeah. I use these palette knives, all different kinds of sizes. You can see I use these for different leaves. I like my paintings to reflect the texture I would have in nature, and so I use kind of a rounder palette knife for the leaves up here, and then I sculpt a lot of the lavender. This is a lavender field from France. I feel like I'm in the lavender Yay. field right now. I mean, you really do. It's, it's a great idea. How did, you, uh, how did you come to develop your style? It just kind of evolved. I actually used to be a portrait painter, believe it or not, all wow. through college. I did very realistic oils. But after I graduated, I, I wanted to try a landscape. And my first landscape was a big poppy field, and it was so liberating and fun. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is what I want to do. And so over the past 10 years, I've kind of developed my own style of building up thick textures and lots of layers. And, I want, and I'm glad you said that you felt like you were in the, the field, because yeah, that's what yeah, I want you to you feel do, like. You really there. do. I don't know if it translates as well on uh, the TV. It looks like it does. So it's just cool to come see and check out and just learn more about. And that's what it's all about here at uh, the Celebration of Fine Arts. So come on out, Scottsdale and Mayo Boulevard. And doors open at 10 a.m. And if you mention 3TV, you will get a two for one deal. And we'll also be giving away a uh, family four pack on Twitter. So stay tuned for that trivia question. Let's start you off with your weather. We are going to see nice Normal conditions, conditions by Wednesday. Head back into the 80s by Thursday. So back out here live at the uh, celebration of fine art. Come on out, check it out. It's just beautiful to come and, you know, get lost in a lavender field and just talk to some of the artists here because their work is beautiful. It's one of a kind and they're available to purchase and just talk with the artists and uh, get to know the idea behind some of their artwork. So it's a pretty uh, unique place out here and it's just in the white tents south of uh, the 101 if you exit on Scottsdale. So we'll send it back to you guys, but I'm not sure if you can really see the texture here. You can and that's... Uh, but it's... Isn't that great? That's we were great just idea. saying, I said, I love the texture on that. It, it almost makes it look like it's popping out at you. It, it does. So uh, that was, that, it's just a great idea. And all of her artwork is like that. You can see even Very if we cool. uh, go down that way, it looks like you're standing looking <clears throat> up at the trees if it's uh, over here. So she really has captured the essence of nature. Very well said, like Brittany. Very well said. <laughs> Fancy. You. I feel like Mike Walkis this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't go that far. <laughs> okay, I know. I got carried away. Sorry. <laughs> you can be a baby Walkis. Baby Walkis on your word, on your word you. usage there. <laughs> Thank you very much.